Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about tabbed pane using JTabbed pane class, which is used to allow us to actually create a group of tabs. All right, so without delay, that's what we're going to do in this particular video. We're going to create a tabbed pane instance and then add it to our frame. All right, so as usual, my project is structured this way. I have my first class, which is test app at Java. I have the main method and I'm creating the frame here. And I have the my frame class inheriting from JFrame. And in the constructor, I am defining the various attributes of my frame. So as I told you, if you want to create a tabbed pane, we have to use a class called JTabbed pane. That's what we're going to do. We're going to create an instance of that particular class. I'll say JTabbed pane, and I will call it tab pane, assignment operator, J tab pane, and then a semicolon. I need to import the tabbed pane class. Click on import JTabbed pane. Now that's it. So because we are setting our layout manager to null, we need to set the bounds of this tabbed pane. So I'll say tab pane set bounds 50, 50, 400, and 400. So if you want to add a tabbed pane to your frame, as usual, we say this, add tabbed pane and semicolon. Let's run and see what will happen. Okay, so now you can see a square showing on the frame. So this is going to represent our tabbed pane. So now what we have to do is we're going to create some panels and we will add these panels to our tabbed pane. All right, so I'll come here, I'll say J panel, panel one, new J panel, open the brackets, semicolon, import the J panel class, that's it. So let me copy this line of code and I'm gonna paste it down here. So I will say panel two, panel three, and I will add panel four, like four here. So as I said, now we need to add these panels to our tabbed pane. So how should we do that? So we will say tabbed pane that add. So the first argument we need to pass here is going to be the title of the tab. Okay. So the panels are going to be used as tabs and uh, we will need to have a, a title set for this particular tab. So the first parameter here, I'm going to pass a string that would represent the title of the, of the tab. So I'll say main and then the second argument will be panel. So I'll say panel one, then semicolon. So here there's a typo mistake. I need to add another B here. Okay. So tab pane. Yeah. So that's it. I'm going to repeat another line like this one, but I'm going to change the arguments I'm passing. Say edit. And this would be panel two. Then this one will be source as the title and panel three. And I will say help as the title of panel four tab. So this done, then we run. Now you can see we are having our various tabs. So you can select on either of these tabs and it's going to take you to that tab in question. So let's say, for example, that for the first tab, we want to change its background color. So we say panel one, set background. I will say color that blue. I will import that color class. Now when I run, so now you can see color blue here is showing. But when I click on edit, which is the next tab, nothing is showing because we've not set any background color for the panel two. But when I come to main, now we can see a background color showing. So we can also maybe say that we want to add uh, a text area to our second uh, tab. So what we're going to do, we're going to create an instance of text area class, J text area, text area, new J text area import the J text area class. So in here, I can pass in some text. I will say, this is, this is my second tab. All right. So now in panel two, we'll, we'll add this particular text area. And I will say panel two, add text area, semicolon. Let's run this. 
Now this is the first tab when I click on edit, which is the second tab. Now we can see this is my second tab showing here. Yeah, so what if we say that, okay, we want to change the background color of the text area, for example, um, set background and I will say color that blue. We want to set font, so set font, new font, area, font that bold and then 20. We can also change the color of the text. So by setting the foreground and the color will be white. Now when I run, so by default it's blue and I click on edit. Now we can see the text area showing this is my second tab and it, has, it is having a background color of blue. We can also set the background color for our panel. So I'll simply copy and paste like this. Instead of blue here, I'll say red, then run. Oh, there's a mistake. I need to write panel two. Yes, here. And then when I run, so now you can see background color of the tab. We can actually try to inverse that. Let me say background color for the panel two is blue. And here for the text background color, I will say red. Yes, uh, this is it. So I can add some background color for panel three as well. And this I'll say green, yellow, run, main blue. Here is blue and we have a text area. We have the source tab, which is green. Help is yellow here. So what you have uh, definitely noticed is that if you want to fill in the content of your tab, all you have to do is to add GUI components to the panels corresponding to the tabs, okay? So for the tab pane, we have added the panels here. So if you wanna populate the different tabs, you have to do that directly to the panels and it's gonna reflect itself in the different tabs. So for example, panel one, we only set the background color. So that's why when we run, we can see the background color shown here. For the second tab, which is corresponding to panel two, we have added the background color, but we have also added text area, okay? This particular text area instance added it to the panel. So now when we run and then click on the second tab, there you can see the background color and then the text area that Added. So if you want to do the same thing for the other tabs here, you have to add the GUI components to the panel directly and it's going to reflect in the tab. All right, guys. So that was it on how to use JTabbed pane and um, how to add it to your frame. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share, to comment and to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.